What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? New show alert. Okay, this is Bling Dynasty on the Netflix uh, channel or streaming service, I should say. Now, net, listen, let me tell y'all something. Bling Empire is, is a reality show based on rich Asians, okay? Crazy rich Asians, okay? And so we start off, we meet Kane and we meet Kevin. Now, Kevin is the non rich friend, right? Kevin is an actor. He's originally from, well, he's originally born in Korea, but he was adopted by a white couple, moved, grew up in Philadelphia. And he said, growing up in Philadelphia, he was always the, you know, he was always like the mascot, so to speak, you know, because it wasn't a lot of Asians in, um, you know, in Philly. And so he was always, you know, oh, you're my first, you know, Asian boyfriend kind of thing. So he moves to L.A. Like I said, he's an actor. He moves to L.A. And he said the first guy he met in L.A. was Kane. And he said, he was like, I always thought, like, Crazy Rich Asians was a nice movie, but eh. But he said after I met Kane, like, no, like, it's legit. He said Kane is an actual billionaire. He, well, his family, you know, um, they come from shipping and oil and they own, you know, real estate, like, malls and things like that and so he was like you know this he's a billionaire he said but the thing i like about kane is that he never made me feel like an outsider like he's a cool ca cool guy he never makes me feel like i'm less than and we see this real cute scene where they're getting ready for this big party it's chinese new year and we're getting ready for christine um is hosting the, the chinese new year and so he shows up and he's like what is wrong with you? Like, you are not dressed for this party. Like, this is a formal event. And he, like, goes in his closet and helps him get an outfit and get ready for the party. So, it was cool. I, I kind of got my eye on Kevin a little bit because a couple of things, I feel like Kevin really leans into the, mm -hmm. but I'm the poor one of the group. And he constantly has to remind everybody that he's the poor one of the group. You know what I'm saying? Like, when they talk about how much something costs or, or how much they spend on something, he has to always remind them, oh my gosh, like I would never spend that. Oh my gosh, I would never do that. And I mean, at a certain point, when you know you're hanging out with rich people and you're living with rich people, I mean, you know, you're spending time with rich people, like it is what it is. They're rich. You're not. But you don't have to keep bringing it up every single time something happens and they talk about how much something costs. Like that's just their lifestyle. But anyway, I like Kevin though. I like Kevin. So then we meet Miss Christine. Now, Christine is the one hosting this big party that we start off with, the Chinese New Year. New Year. She's gotten uh, Beverly Hills to shut down Rodale Drive um, for her party. And, of course, it's a who's who A-list situation. Um, her husband is um, a doctor, but he's also a 24th generation descendant of the Song Dynasty. And if Dynasty still existed, her husband would be the emperor. I mean, her husband's father would be the emperor her husband would be next in line she does have a son um she said that's their little miracle baby because it took them 10 years to have him um and he would be the prince now miss christine loves who she is and loves her her station in life so to speak okay we're gonna get back to miss christine okay then we meet kelly and andrew now kelly is um she said that her first husband, they were billionaires, they were doing a damn thing, they had five houses, they traveled, they did this, they did that. She said they spent $400,000 a month on the Amex card. They were just living La Vida Loca. And so one day the police came knocking at her door, honey, and she found out that her, her boyfriend was running this internet Ponzi scheme type situation. They pretty much lost everything and she had to start over. And she is now an entrepreneur, but she's doing really well for herself. She sort of built her own little empire. And now she is dating Kevin. I mean, Andrew, excuse me. Now, Andrew is an actor. And she said he's better known as the Red Power Ranger, which, of course, he would have on a helmet the whole time. But that's who he was. That was his role. And they have this very hot and cold relationship, honey. We're going to get back to that. We're going to get back to that. Then we meet Miss Anna. Honey, Anna is the matriarch, okay? Anna is half asian half russian and her family built their, their fortune in weapons anna is my favorite not just because of that because i feel like you know she got all the weapons that she could come and get me but i just love how she rolls like we we in the first scene we saw anna tan up her house honey because i guess the people wasn't moving fast enough to do her closet the way she wanted her closet done Child, i don't know um but Anna, you know, she has a son. She's not married. She moved back to Beverly Hills recently. Um, and 
from the beginning of this party getting started, Christine sort of pulls Anna aside and proceeds to brag on everything. She's bragging on her jewelry. She's bragging on this party. She's talking about, oh my goodness, I see you pulled out your big bank of diamonds to wear to this party. Um, she's talking about, because um, the party is hosted by Piaget, honey. And she's talking about um, how um, whenever she goes to France, she stays at the presidential suite at the plaza. And Anna was like, really? So do I. And she was just unimpressed by all of it. And Anna was like, you know, when I first met Christine, she was really sweet. She was down to earth. She was easy to talk to. She was a fun girl. But I'm noticing that more and more she has become very superficial. And I'm just not impressed by that. And Christina proceeds to talk about the story about going to, you know, this place after, um, you know, after um, New York Fashion Week and do Dolce and & Gabbana and being on this person's yacht and doing this and doing that. And it was just a whole lot. And Anna was so impressed. Anna was just like, okay. Almost as if to say, baby, been there and done that. Like, you ain't doing nothing I haven't already done, okay? And so she invites her. She's having a dinner party at her house. So Anna invites Christine to the dinner party. And so, okay, cool, cool, cool. So the party is nice. Everyone's having a good time. Like I said, um, Kane, and Kane is hilarious as he's moderating this because Kane is the... I'm everybody's friend, so yeah. I see the shade. I see, I know the backstories. I know proper society. I know wh what's going on, and I'm cool with all of y'all, so I'm just going to sit back and peep it, but I see it kind of thing, right? So then we meet Kim Lee. Kim Lee is a um, celebrity DJ. She makes $50,000 a show. She performs. She's mainly, um, you know, famous over in um, Asia. And um, she's going on a whole photo shoot with her mom. And her mother is hilarious. Her mother is not, they said she's not the typical, you know, Asian mom. But her mom is absolutely hilarious, telling her how to pose. Because they're doing this whole photo shoot. Because Kane was like, my friends know that I get all the best angles. I, you know, I, I know all the, 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 the right lighting. And so they have me, you know... <laughs> basically um doing the, the photo shoot and it was a cool time you know you again we're it's the first episode so we're meeting everybody uh and we have a we have a lunch with kane kevin i think it was kim lee and another friend of theirs who she's an influencer she she gets paid to be an influencer and she talks about how you know she was trying to be an olympic um horse rider but it didn't really work out but you know, now she's sort of just kind of doing her thing and getting paid to basically be on social media. She said she dropped out of college. Kane was like, exactly, college is overrated. Kane done dropped out of college, but he's doing his own thing. I think he's making his own money. I mean, I'm sure he had a really nice trust fund to help him get started, but he is making his own money. And so, um, now Kevin also looks like he's a little playboy of the group. You know, he's a little play, looks like he's a little flirty, flirty with all the ladies and he, you know, a little, little this and a little that, okay? Um, yeah, that was Jamie, Jamie, okay, Jamie. Now, it is Kelly's birthday, right? And Kelly, um, is friends with Anna, and Anna wants to take Kelly to her favorite restaurant for her birthday. But her favorite restaurant just happens to be in Paris, honey, and so they get on a flight for its class, her... Um, her, Andrew, and Anna, they fly to Paris for dinner. Uh, okay? But it looks like they're going to be there for the weekend. But, okay. They get to Paris. Now, on the flight there, honey, they indulge um, Anna and let Anna put on a whole uh, flight attendant's uniform. And she proceeds to work the flight. But, of course, she's doing what she wants to do. They're entertaining her. I'm sure she probably owns stock. <laughs> And um, I think they were on Air France or something like that, honey. And they were having a good time. It was cute. So they get to France and Anna takes um, Kelly shopping for her birthday. She gets her some jewelry. And of course, Anna is one of those people that whatever store she goes to, they close the store down. She's the only person in the store. She gets a personal shopper and all that good stuff. And she's a jewelry person. So they're in these jewel these high-end jewelry stores, and they're just bringing out all of these diamonds and, and so forth. And Anna is just a shopper, shopper, shopper. Like, she just... Listen, this is her lifestyle, child. This is her lifestyle. 
Now, Andrew was talking about how he has these great plans for um, Kelly's birthday, and she just, you know, just can't wait. And then I was thinking, well, all the great plans that she was he was talking about was Anna's trip to Paris. Was that a great plan? So while they're out shopping, honey, Andrew calls up um, Kelly, and he goes off. And he is talking to her crazy, talking about how did you leave? How could you leave me here? I was real effed up of you. Why would you leave me here? And um, and he, she was like, but you were jet lagged, and I was thought I was doing you a favor. Like I didn't think you'd want to go shopping. Like we're out shopping. Like I didn't think that's even something you'd want to do. So, and he's just going off of her, talking about well, what the hell is wrong with you? What? Why would you think that? Why wouldn't you think I'd want to go? That you're just stupid. Yes or no? You could have just woke me up. Yes or no? Yes or no? And she was just like, and. Anna is sitting there listening to the whole thing, honey, and Anna is just not here for it. Anna is like, that was intense. That was very intense. That was very, very extra and unnecessary. And so then we have this scene where we see Andrew talking to Kelly and, you know, he's, I'm, you're right. I overreacted and I'm really sorry, but I just love you so much, girl. And Kelly, if you don't get the hell away from this man, that is abuse 101. That man talked to you all kinds of crazy, okay? He talked to you sideways, up, down, left, and right. And he talked to you all kinds of crazy, okay? And then at the end of the day, he just puts on the tears, apologizes, and then y'all get to hugging it up. Baby, she was talking to Anna later on. And Anna was like, girl, ain't no dick that good. I don't know what you see in him. I don't know why you stay with him. I don't understand what's going on here. But I promise you ain't no dick that good. Now, Jamie, I mean, Jenny, on the other hand, I mean, Christine, I done made up, see, I'm making up names. Y'all know how I do, but I wrote my notes. I got my notes. Christine um, is hanging out with Kane, right? And she is in the process of taking her jewelry back to the bank. The jewelry, I guess, she took out for this party, this Chinese New Year party. She's in the process of taking her jewelry back to the bank. So she has these two bodyguards to guard her duffel bag full of jewelry. But she decides to make a pit stop at the Ducati um, dealership. That's the, the high-end motorcycles, in case y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and... Decides that she wants to buy the Cotty. Why? Because if the world is going in or if there's some sort of natural disaster and she knows traffic is going to be backed up, she wants to be able to get on her motorcycle and still get to the airport so she can leave town. Kane says, do you even know how to ride a motorcycle? She was like, I mean, yeah, it's like a bike, right? He was like, it's not. It's not a bike. So then she starts talking about why she has the bodyguards with her. Because, mind you, the bodyguards got out the car with the duffel bag and walked with her into the store while she's shopping for a motorcycle on their way to the bank. Like, some stuff is just ridiculous. And that's ridiculous. And so then Christine starts bragging about the jewelry and she takes one of the pieces out. And it happens to be this Louis Vuitton, like, diamond um, necklace. And she's talking to Kane. And Kane was like, oh, yes, honey, that is beautiful. And she says, yeah, I think Anna has one of these as well. And Kane was like, yeah, I, I think she either has one like it or one similar to it. And, you know, and she was like, you think I should wear it to her, um, her, her dinner party? Maybe I'll wear it to her dinner party. What do you think? You, what do you think? Um, and Kane was like, uh... I mean, that's a thing to do. You know, Kane, Kane was kind of like, I don't know if I'd recommend it, but I mean, do you, you know? So we get to the dinner party, and of course, I mean, Christine looks gorgeous. I mean, she's got this beautiful dress. She's got a, a little bob wig on, honey, and of course, she's got this necklace, right? And Anna comes down, and you know, um, I mean, of course, her house is gorgeous, and it's all, I mean, you name it type of car out front and they have caviar for you know cocktail hour and everything is just wonderful um and so at some point christine and anna end up having a conversation and christine brings up she's like does this look familiar and anna was like yeah i actually have that necklace and she was like really oh well we really should talk so that we coordinate and make sure we're not wearing it at the same time Anna was like, okay. <laughs> she is so unimpressed. And um, 
then later on we see Miss Anna do, um checking her place settings for her dinner. Baby, she made so that she made sure that Christine and her husband were so far at the other end of the table away from her. Oh, when Christine came in the room and saw where her place setting was, baby. She was in all of her feelings because she was like, I know good and damn well I am not at the end. Because, you know, at affairs like this, placement is everything. And the closest you are to the guest, I mean, to the host, that shows your placement at the party. You all the way at the other end of the table, baby. You might have been a last minute um, addition to the party. And she might not even know who you are, okay? You just got invited because she needed an even number and she was down to an odd, okay? And Christina, even her husband was like, why are we all the way back here? Because you, cause you came at Anna crazy. Talking about that damn Louis Vuitton necklace that she could care less about. That she probably got five of them. And you impressed, trying to, like you call yourself trying to impress her and brag. And so she showed you who was the real queen bee up in this bitch. Because you thought you was the queen bee. And she had to remind you that you were not. Okay. She had to remind you that you were not. Um. Then, you know, she gave out these paperweights. And of course, you know, Christine um, had to talk about the paperweights. I mean, at my New Year's party, every guest, um, we adopted a, um, a sponsored or orphan in their name for every guest at the party. And she gives us these paperweights. I mean, oh my goodness. Do I have to tell her, teach her everything? I was like, Christine, I just don't think that that's an enemy you want. I, I, I just don't think that that's an enemy you want, girl. So last but not least, we meet one last um couple jersey jesse lee and sherry chan they're a couple they have a child and another one on the way but they are not married and kane is very clear to let us know that is just not normal um in polite society but okay and that was pretty much that first episode but baby i was so here for miss anna and how she got um christine all the way together without saying a word honey she didn't have to raise her voice she didn't have to say a word and i was here for Okay. Okay. All right. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.